The exponentially weighted moving average uh, tweaks this whole formula a little bit, but you might consider using a moving average control chart for your data. And again, we're going to take the same data we've been using and simply select that. We're going to go down to the QI macros and go down and select our moving average chart. The moving average chart is going to take that data we use for the EWMA and ask us for a number of periods for our moving average. In this case, we're going to use three. And it'll go out and prompt you for titles and give us a control chart here. And again, just like with the EWMA, you can see that our process started to shift about here, uh, going in an upward trend. And so we know that our process has shifted and we need to make some go back and do some analysis on that special cause and see what's going on here. So it's very easy to draw a moving average control chart in Excel with the QI macros. You can download a 30-day trial at qimacros.com.